angel of the church of Laodicea, write the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of God's creation. I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. Would that you were cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich. I have prospered. I need nothing, not knowing that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. Therefore, I counsel you to buy for me gold refined by fire, that you may be rich, and white garments to clothe you and keep you from the shame of your nakedness from being seen, and salve to anoint your eyes that you may see. Those whom I love, I reprove and chasten. So be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If he will, anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and eat with him and he with me. He who conquers, I will grant him to sit with me on my throne as I myself conquered and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And so to recap what we were hearing just a moment ago, you have the hot water that we were just over near, and then you have the mountain in the background that would have the snow melt. So you have the cold waters and you have the hot waters, but here, what were they? They were lukewarm. And, uh, and there's a couple of different ideas about that. If you're for God, be for him, you know? And if you're not for God, you know, don't pretend okay because god is not fooled but at the same time we want everybody to be for god uh, and then the idea of being rich and obviously it's a wealthy just looking at the church you can just imagine how and so they became obviously self-satisfied and you know and you know something else that the barshan was mentioning a moment ago uh you know uh the state the state the government can become like god a surrogate God, you know, and, and we have to be careful about falling into that pit that somehow the state satisfies our deepest needs, you know. Um, uh, you know, when they asked Jesus to, uh, the devil tempted Jesus and, uh, about make, turning the stone into bread, and what did he say? Man doesn't live by bread alone, but by the word of God, by, by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so, uh, and so uh, you know, as we've talked about yesterday at Mass, how grateful we are to have the means to travel, how grateful we are to have the health to travel, how grateful we are to, to be able to be here on pilgrimage. But we pray that we don't become rich with our own things, but that we look to, to God for the true wealth, that he would cleanse our eyes. In the words of the uh, Bartimaeus, Lord, I wanna see, you know, I want the salve from your hand. I want the gold refined by you. I want the white garment that you provide. So, again, how beautiful it is to see kind of the, the veil of the, the richness of Scripture pulled back a little bit. And, and, you know, it's not just these letters to these churches, but it's all over the place in the Bible. The layers of meaning that are so immediate, so on the surface, so anybody could read without ever traveling to Turkey, but then at the same time, how deep it goes, you know? And so we pray that uh, we have ears to hear and eyes to see. Amen. Amen. Amen.